Hi, good day to all of you once again. Welcome back to our Gospel of Mark devotion. Now for today, we will be looking at Mark chapter 15, verse 21 to 32 for our devotion. If you have your Bible, please turn your Bible to Mark chapter 15, verse 21 to 32. A certain man from Serene, Simon, the father of Alexander and Rufus, was passing by on his way in from the country, and they forced him to carry the cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. Then they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him, dividing up his clothes. They cast lots to see what each would get. Verse 25, it was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The written notice of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. They crucified two rebels with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by her insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, So, you who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, come down from the cross and save yourself. In the same way, the chief priests and the teachers of the law mock him among themselves. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, this King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. Those crucified with him also heap insults on him. Now, brothers and sisters, in Mark chapter 15, verse 23, then they offer him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. I want you to underline it. But he did not take it. Now, in this particular verse, we can see that myrrh was offered to Jesus after he was crucified on the cross, but he chose not to take it. Now, the effect of myrrh was to reduce the pain that Jesus was experiencing on the cross. The effect of myrrh was to reduce the suffering as myrrh itself contains numbing effect. Now hence, it speaks to us that Jesus wanted to bear all the pain and all the suffering when he was hung on the cross. He did not want any help rendered to him. Now, from another perspective, the truth about bearing the cross is that one would not seek external help or comfort except from God Himself. Now, let us take a look at verses 30 to 32. Verse 30, Come down from the cross and save yourself. In the same way, the chief priests and the teachers of the law mocked Jesus among themselves. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. Let this Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross that we may see and believe. Now, those crucified with him also heap insults on him. Now, brothers and sisters, verse 30, you know, Verse 30 says this, the people were saying, come down from the cross and save yourself. Verse 31, the religious teacher, they were mocking at him and saying that you can save others, but you can't save yourself. And verse 32, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. That is the stance of the religious teacher. They want to see it with their eyes. Now, all these three verses, they have something in common, which is to ask Jesus to come down from the cross. Now, when Jesus was born, Satan wanted to kill him. When Jesus started his ministry, Jesus tempted him to give up the way to the cross. And then when Jesus was crucified, Satan again tried to tempt him to give up the cross, come down of the cross. However, Jesus did not give in to Satan's request and temptation. Now, in verse 30, it tells us that people who do not know the way of God, 
When, when they challenged Jesus to give up the cross and come down, they did not know the ways of God. Now, Jesus did not come down from the cross because he believed that his resurrection will prove that he is truly the Son of God, as stated by Paul in Romans chapter 1, verse 4. And, and who through the spirit of holiness was appointed the Son of God in power by His resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord. Even the religious teachers challenged Jesus and mentioned that they would only believe when they would see with their very own eyes. They would see and believe. But brothers and sisters, we know that God's way is to believe and then you will see. In our application today from this short devotion, the first application is this. Now, even though we are children of God, God will not always rescue us the Apostle Paul experienced the immense joy of the Lord. However, his suffering for the gospel was equally, if not much more, immense and severe. Number two, unbelievers do not understand spiritual principles. As for us, as believers of Jesus Christ, we know what it is to tap on spiritual strength. And we can quote Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Am I right? And it is by His grace that His grace is sufficient for me. That we understand spiritual principles, but not unbelievers. And the third application is this. Now, to do and not to do. Now, for Jesus to die on the cross or to come down from the cross, it's about those who really put their trust in the Lord. Let me repeat it one more time. To do or not to do speaks about those who really can put their trust in God. Those who not only believe that God will help them, now listen carefully to the next statement I want to make. Those who also believe that God will not help them to do or not to do. Now, the key here is to trust God 100% regardless of the outcome. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for today Lord, even through this short devotion. Lord, we know and we want to thank you for dying on the cross for our sins, O oh God. And Father, we thank you, O oh God, for the life of your Son that has given us an example, O oh Father, of what it is to trust you 100%, O oh Father, to know that your ways are so unlike our human ways. And so, Father, this day I pray that you will help us to put our 100% trust in you and in you alone, O oh God. So, Father, we just want to thank you. We commit ourselves to you once again. In this, we pray and ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, Thank you once again for joining us for this uh, devotion on the Gospel of Mark. You know, I wish you all the best throughout the week. May the presence of God be with you. Thank you and I will see you again.